Hi guys, if you would like to be with a chance of winning this amazing three-piece Grace luggage set from Level 8, then please keep watching this vlog series because we're going to be doing a giveaway. How amazing. Keep watching guys, you've got to be in it to win it. Welcome to a brand new vlog series of The Babies Do Disney, not Orlando, not California. Disneyland Paris! Yes. So with introduction, first of all, we'll start with the kids. We've got... Paige, Charlotte... Oh, Paige, Charlotte, Bailey, yeah. Age? Nine, I always said I was eight. Um, she just turned nine. She uh, just turned nine last week. You've got... Callum. Age? Fifteen. Sixteen next month. GCSEs. Yep. It's all happening. Um, then you've got my wife. 36. <laughs> you didn't have to say your age. <laughs> Sarah. And you got myself, Michael. So we're actually going with my dad. He's never been to Disney before. We got back from Orlando and he said, I'd like to go with you guys because I want to experience it. So yeah, my dad's Hopefully coming. Hopefully he likes it. Yeah. Bye. Hope so. Yeah, we're staying at uh, Davy Crockett's. Um, so we can't wait for that. It's like a little cabin. Yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Can't we can't wait. wait. Um, it's got like Fort Wilderness vibes and we're doing, is it five days? Five days. So we get them on the Wednesday. The yeah, get them on the and Wednesday. And the weather looks nice. <laughs> it looks amazing. We're going in April by the way for content. Oh, yeah, we're staying a night in a hotel tomorrow and then the next day we're travelling, we're going on the, uh, the Euro Tunnel, across to Calais and then a three hour flight, a uh, three hour drive across from Calais to Paris. So we'll let so, you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, we can't wait. We're Bye. really excited, aren't we? Bye guys. Bye. I don't know how people do these packing videos because we have stuff everywhere. Like people seem to manage to do it and it looks all neat and tidy and great, but this is a disaster. So I have packed a few bits already. So these are Michael's things into packing cubes. I love packing cubes. Can I jump in a second? Not only have we packed it, but we packed it in our level eight suitcases that were gifted to us. So thank you so much level eight. Um, that's enough about that. We've got more to tell you about level eight, but we'll talk about that in a bit. This is this is why I don't pack. There we go. So, I have put all of our hoodies and things into this section. I've not used a packing cube for that because I didn't know where they were in the beginning. And these are all Michael's things in that packing cube. I've got everybody's outfits into our lounge fly bags to save space because we love our lounge fly bags and we want to take them with us. So in that one, there is Marvel slash Guardians outfit, Stitch outfits in there. Paige has got a Chippendale things in her Chippendale bag. She's got two of them. And I've got all sorts of random bits into my Beauty and the Beast bag. We're actually traveling by car, so we're not flying. So that's why things are everywhere. If we were traveling by car, uh, sorry, if we were flying, we'd have four, probably four suitcases, but we've got five people sitting in our car uh, with all the stuff. So everything needs to go in the boot. So probably less space than we would have if we were flying, if that makes sense. But more space because we've got lounge flies and we can put things by feet, etc. So yeah, that's that's why it's packed like this with lounge flies, etc. everywhere. So Paris weather at the moment looks very, very nice, but obviously it's unpredictable because it's Paris. So we have rain jackets, um, we've got hoodies, we've got shorts, we've got t-shirts. <laughs> Paige's got a little Chippendale dress packed away as well. I think that's gonna fit perfectly. I've never had level eight suitcases before and genuinely the zips on them are so smooth compared to, I mean, we have trip suitcases before we got gifted these, but these honestly, they're just so they're easy. They're good, aren't they? I just started the vlog and the little Riley Pom came to say hello. He's off to our friends for a little holiday, aren't you, Pom? He loves it there, things. you get spoiled at theirs, don't you? You get spoiled at theirs. But yeah, so I just wanted to do another little tip that I do. Um, it's not a necessity, however, I love doing it. Um, tumble dryer sheets, they smell lovely. You're just going to hear Riley go, <laughs> no, so I know. <laughs> See, this is why we can't do this. No, why do we do this? Work with kids and animals. We've got a mess everywhere. We've got a dog I'm just, that's. I'm just chilling with my coffee. Michael's on his holidays already. I just want to say. I'm packing everything. I'm actually drinking Alani blend um, Joffrey's coffee. 
Kona is my favourite blend, but this Alani blend is really nice as well, similar to uh, Kona. So if you're in Disney World and you can get to Joffrey's, get some Kona and um, Alani, you won't regret it. Anyway, what's this tip, sir? Everyone's waiting to hear it. It is a good one that I really like doing. It's a it's game changer. Tumble dryer sheets. They smell amazing. Put them in with your luggage when you pack, so then when you unpack, it hasn't got that sort of, I don't know, musky, a d musky sort of... Sort of holiday holiday luggage. sort of luggage smell it, it you know what i'm talking about surely so these are a game changer because they make everything smell lovely everything comes out smelling like cotton fresh honestly <laughs> it's a game changer i know it sounds stupid but when i put a t-shirt on when i'm in orlando and i put a t-shirt on or any holiday and i'm like that smells amazing that is because most times like Sarah said you take it out it just smells really musky and not not nice so that honestly is a little game changer but it is worth doing I also got these little lounge fly bags once when I ordered some ears and now I keep my ears inside them when I pack them in the suitcase and I like having the added protection. Little shoe bags which are brilliant for keeping your flip flops shoes. It's got This one's got a front and a back compartment so that's got my shoes and Paige's shoes in there. Apart from these ones which I'll just show you quick. So obviously Paige loves Chippendale, if you've watched us before you'll know. Um, she's got these little Nike Airs. She has worn them before, so they're not brand, brand new. But Michael painted them the other day. So she's got a little chip and a little Dale. Oh, bless you, Pom. Hi, guys. So, what have we achieved so far? We've actually achieved quite a bit. So we've actually driven from Nottingham area, driven about four or five hours down to, um, down to Bovington, where we dropped Riley off. And then from there, we then drove across another couple of hours to um, go and see my mum. And then... From there, we've then driven about another half an hour to, to see my dad is where we are now in near Reading. And then from Reading, we're gonna drive over to Dover, stay at a hotel overnight tonight. And then, um, so it's pre-travel day, slash travel day tomorrow. And then in the morning, like I said, we're gonna wake up and then uh, get the uh, Euro tunnel across, um, or Le Chateau, I think it's called now. I just wanted to give you a, a few pointers. If you are thinking of driving over to uh, Paris and not flying, so to make, you, make sure your car is roadworthy or so basically to allow yourself to drive in Paris or France you've got to have a few things so first of all there's a list there's a checklist so you've always got to have your driving license when you're driving that needs to be in the car uh, your certificate or your insurance um, you've got to have your passport on you as well which you're going to have because you're going to a different country and then for the car itself there's a there's a checklist you need to have these beam reflectors these here and basically I'm not actually sure what they do. European traffic regulation, incorrect aligned headlamps are dangerous and illegal. So basically you put these on the front, I don't know if you can see it on the picture there, but basically they, they make you not blind in anyone with your, with your headlights because on the opposite side, obviously. Um, so that's the first thing. Then, universal bulb kit, so you need that. Um, also, high-vis vest, warning triangle. You need a first aid kit, LED torch as well. So all this stuff, um, it's just mandatory. If you go on the RAC website, it'll tell you what you need. But my tip here, Mike's random tangent tip of the day, it's coming early, is to go on Amazon and get it. Because I went into Tesco, I went to Halfords, and I was like, oh, they sell it in there. But actually on Amazon, you're saving a few quid per item, but overall, it's a saving about 10 pounds. That's a coffee. So go on Amazon, get the things off there, you save a few quid, you can buy stuff on holiday. I personally would rather drive it than fly it. I understand that some people are the opposite way around. I actually quite like the drive, I think it's quite fun. We actually, we used to live in the Highlands of Scotland up in Kinloss near the Inverness and I used to drive down to Dover every few weeks to pick up my son from boarding school. So I'm not worried about driving, it doesn't phase me really. I know a lot of people can't stand driving, but um, for myself, I, I look at it as part of the holiday itself. We've got something exciting to announce now. We're doing a bit of a giveaway. So first of all, I want to say thank you, a huge thank you to Level 8 Suitcases for gifting us um, a set of three Grace luggage in Champagne, which you can see here, this box. I'm just going to show you what's in it now. But yeah, honestly, such a great giveaway. So let me open it. I'll show you. Look how well packaged it is. Everything about these is just amazing. So we're actually using Level 8 um, luggage on our trip now. And like I said previously, we've used it at Christmas. I've used it in Belize for three months, so I've used, I've used it across basically taken across the world, and it is next level. We Paige used it on a residential. Um, my son used it to take to boarding school. It is really good. Um, this is how it comes, and we're going to show you now what the competition is. To be in with a chance to win this uh, incredible giveaway, 
the uh, the four things you need to do to be in with a chance. First of all, subscribe to our channel. Second, like this video. Third, comment down below your favourite holiday destination or where you would like to go that you've not yet been. And then lastly, go over to our Instagram, give our Instagram a like. Once you've done all four of those, you'll be entered into the competition. It's important to note, this video is going to be going on to every episode of this um, vlog series. It was only a five day vlog series, so it's a short one because we're going to Paris. So to be in with a chance of being entered twice into or three times or four times or five times into the competition, comment on every video and like every video on YouTube. Honestly, this is the first time I've actually taken them out of the box. I've seen them on the website and they are incredible. Um, we love our level eights, but this one here in particular, where it's got the front section as well, because it's, a, it's more of a travel one, and you've got your laptop compartment in there. I don't know if you can see that, but honestly, it's incredible. Yeah, so good luck, guys. Hopefully you win. You've got to be in it to win it. That is us now, car packed. Everyone in. We're leaving my dad's now. We're on our way to Dover. <laughs> Premier Inn at Folkestone. Person. We've got what, a special person. We have. We've got Granddad with us today, haven't we? This person. This person. The special person. So yeah, we're on our way to um car Dover is now. Packed out, but we are on our way. Yeah, can't and wait. Get to Dover. Check into the Premier Inn at Folkestone, and then go for some food. Wonder what we what are we getting, kids? <laughs> uh, food. Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> we're now on our way to uh, Dover. We're about an hour and 20 minutes away. And what, There's the granddad. What an absolute nightmare I've had today. I've had a hat trick of nightmares. So, let me tell you why. First of all, this morning we, were, we dropped off our little ridey pom, our dog. Paige is singing in <laughs> She's singing. Oh, good singing, Paige. Got it on the vlog. Oh no! That'll be played at our 18th. Anyway, dropped off a little ridey pom at our friends. Um, I went out last night, packed the car, or made sure the car, put all the stuff in the boot. Instead of bringing everything up, put everything in the boot, closed the boot, went to bed. Seven o'clock this morning, our, um, our friend's daughter came in and was like, your boot's open. And I was jumped out of bed, I was like, what? The boot's open. So I was like, oh my days, what's happened? Have we been robbed? I looked out the window. Looks like everything's there, but I went down, checked everything. Everything was still there. It's just when I closed the boot, I've not closed it. I've just closed it or pushed it down. It hasn't actually locked. So thankfully, we we're in a nice area because if that would have been a lot of places, that wouldn't have been, that would have been empty. There was, there was lounge eight, fly eight bags. lounge fly bags, literally on top with outfits, uh, pages, Clarice Teddy, which she was happy that I nearly got. Anyway, that was number one. So luckily nothing happened. Next, we go and visit my mum in Newbury. I took my um, level 8 bag, which I'll show you guys in a bit because it's amazing. Took my level 8 bag with the passports and about 1,500 euros in, in cash. I put that in my mum's and then said bye after having food there. Drove to my dad's and as I'm driving, my mum rings me, FaceTimes and says, is this your bag? So I nearly left that. I'm not even sure when we'd have realised, if we'd have realised before Probably getting to not. the port. and um, saying, where's your passports? Anyway, so that, was, number that was number two. Drove, turned around, went back, collected it. If you haven't seen my previous vlogs, or our previous vlogs, go and have a look. This happens a lot. This is a regular occurrence, leaving... Well, I got to MCO last October. And if you don't know Michael, this is Michael. You don't want to know Michael, because he's a nightmare. <laughs> Where do I get it from, though? <laughs> hey! <laughs> anyway, then um, I turned around, got the I've got the bag with the passports, so drove to my dad's, got to my dad's, everything sorted, packed our bags, in, the boots packed, the cars packed, we're all in there driving. And I've said, Sarah, so my dad transferred us some money to get him some euros. And I basically split it into envelopes of mine, pages, Callum's got his own, and then my dad's. And I said, Sarah, have you got dad's, dad's euros? And she was like, I didn't touch it. And it turns out that I've separated it all. And I've said, oh my days, what I've done is I've put dad's 400 euros into a separate envelope. And then I've put them in the bin. And then I'm thinking it's Tuesday, the recycling's gone out, so we can't even ask our neighbour to go through the recycling. I couldn't believe it, I felt sick. And then Sarah's can't throw anyway, I haven't. I just haven't separated them. So the money is all together. Three things today, honestly, I could have been sick, I felt sick. But everything's good now, all the euros are there. The passport and the money's here, we haven't left any bags. Nobody's broken into our car, we're all good. We're an hour away from the hotel. We're gonna stop off and get some food. It's a good pre-travel day. Nothing's gone wrong, nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Nothing's That's good. gone wrong. No, nothing <laughs> has really gone wrong. It's just been a test. 
<laughs> Help me. So we're at Cobham Services. Decided on a Nando's. Which we love, by the way. So here we go. We're going to go for a Nando's. About an hour away from the, the hotel. So here we go. Sweet potato wedges. Some halloumi sticks. And some... Um, what is it? Just hummus pitta. Yeah, so... These are made if it's not screwed on. Today's a not a good day for me. Not a good Dude. day. Food has arrived and we've gone big. Food has arrived. So I've gone the fino pitta, livers, loaded chips, mac and cheese, fries. Oh, guys, the chips. That's a new Tarasco burger. This is new. The new mac and cheese, the new Tarasco burger. Get stuck in, Dad. Get stuck in, kids. Callum went for the chicken livers, chips, and Paige went for the spicy burger. That's us uh, finishing our meal now. It's about half past nine, and we're going to... Uh, drive over to uh, Dover now, which is about an hour, so it's gonna, we're gonna get there about half 10, I reckon. Um, but we've just eaten, and we've eaten, well, you've seen what we ate. It was a big old meal. Hey, Pager Pops. It was a big old meal. We got three starters. Um, we got a couple of beers. Well, my dad got a couple of beers. Uh, but it was about 110 pounds all in, uh, which is expensive. Well, but when did it become so expensive to eat out? So me and Sarah went to Nando's recently as well, and just for us two. It was what 50 pounds so it is expensive but like i say we do we do go big on it but so we don't like yeah to be honest I've, i have two meals i have the livers and then i have a main so i'm not moaning about it not at all but uh, yeah really good meal a great way to start the holiday we love starting on nando's or wagamama's if we go to orlando um so yeah really good meal let's uh let's get to the hotel and we'll show you when we get there welcome to the land of nod You are not. Yeah. So, yeah. quick room tour. It's your standard Premier Inn. Standard Premier We've actually got one main bed there for me and Mummy. And then, <laughs> Paige, you can have this one here. And I think Callum's going to sleep with Grandad next door. But we don't know what the sleeping arrangement's like. It's your standard. You've got um, milk, coffee, tea bags, kettle. However, we're going to be leaving very early in the morning. We're going to be leaving at like 4 30. So, it's an early start. So, yeah, we'll see. What are you playing with there, Page Pops? The bath. You know, really clean. Everything's good, everything's clean. It's quite big actually. It seems bigger than normal. So yeah, can't complain. Oh, we've got a hairdryer with it as well, so that's good. Good day everyone, and welcome to a brand new Bailey's Do Disney vlog series. So we are currently in the Premier Inn in Folkestone, about ten to fifteen minutes away from the shuttle. Le shuttle or so the Euro. Very early. Very early. We've got a six twenty <laughs> Um, 4.35 yeah, Disney 4 is keeping morning. us going Alarm was set at 3.30am um, We got to bed at about 11pm So we only had a few hours sleep And then when we get to the other side it's about a 3 or 4 hour drive So yeah, we're good though We're going to get to the um, the shuttle terminal now Hopefully there's a coffee um, Coffee house? A cafe, I don't know what's wrong with me Well clearly that's there what's wrong with me Starbucks, I think. Let's go and do yeah. that Good morning everyone, that's us on the road now Um where we are in Premier Inn, or where we've just stayed, Premier Inn, um, Folkestone, is exactly 10 minutes from the uh, Le Shuttle. So really, really good. It's worth noting, whatever time your um, shuttle crossing is, you need to be there no later than one hour before, but no more than two hours before, if that makes sense. Yeah. So between one and two hours. Um, so yeah, so that's why we're leaving a bit early. Well, I say a bit early, it's, it's quarter to five and a half. Um, our train or the shuttle is at 6.20. So we're getting there plenty of time, hopefully grab a coffee. Um, and then yeah, <laughs> I'm on the other- I'm not struggling without his coffee. There was instant in the room, but um, I wanted to pack the wash bag up and I, and I brushed my teeth and I wasn't drinking instant. Well, I don't really like instant, I'm a bit of a snob, but I wasn't drinking coffee after brushing my teeth. So yeah, get a coffee now. Um, like I say, really convenient. We'll let you know what the cost is like. We'll let you know what the drive's like on the other side. But yeah, so far, all is good. Is everyone excited? Yes! yes! Granddad's excited, look at him. Be quiet. <laughs> so it's Granddad's first time at Disney ever no, I today. Went, I went yesterday, what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, literally shuttle. So it took about 10 minutes. It was less than that one, it was about 8, wasn't it, from the hotel, really close. So we've pulled up and it's literally on the registration. Um, it's, it's basically giving our details straight away. So confirm, please confirm if you have pets traveling. Confirm there's no pets traveling. Diesel, confirm. 
searching for best. Oh, let's get on the five. Five forty-four. Let's get on an earlier one, then, eh? I didn't even know there was an earlier one. Oh, result, no charge as well. What get there a bit earlier. No money spended today. Actually, yeah, there actually <laughs> is going to be some money spenders. Granddad's money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. Bon we can go. Oh, no, I need to go forward, not backwards. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. There's no car behind me, thank God. <laughs> Jesus. The R and D look very similar on the. Uh, yeah. Oh, please don't start again today. Exit and then left this way, it says. To France. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> Here we go. This is good. No, we're not. We're never lost. We're not lost. Just geographically challenged. Who's a side pyramid? Put your hand up on your side. Woo! -hoo! You can't really tell. Wait, no, wait, don't put your hand up. I'm not excited. Yes, you are. Therapist when he gets back. Yeah. It's just very convenient. They're like, there's people ushering you. What is it like? It's not even five o'clock yet. There's people ushering you exactly where to go. And there's signs everywhere. Yes, there are signs everywhere. It's very Honestly, straightforward as to where to go. You can't get lost. Well, famous last words. That's that before. But um, <laughs> I think there's a secret beach around it somewhere. That's the beach. There's the terminal okay. there. So actually, as you see on the video, it um, it lit us up, well I say upgrade, it, it lit us bring our ferry forward from 6.20 to 5.45. So which is good, it means we get a bit more time there. Um, however, it says call imminent, so I don't know how much time we've got. So we're going to go into the passenger terminal, grab a coffee and then go straight over. Hopefully we've got time. So there's quite a bit there, you've got a World Duty Free um, up there where you can see. It tells you the times and it tells you when they're calling. Um, if I'm honest, I'm not actually sure what call imminent means. I know imminent means now or, or very soon. So hopefully we can get a coffee and then we can uh, still make our, um, our flight, our flight, our um, train. Starbucks now, so we've got a happy, happy, happy Michael, Michael, happy Grandad, yeah, we're about to and get a, a happy me. Now, so this way you do your passports. So this is good. So here we go, passport and security. I'll turn the camera on. It's Mambo number five. It's incredible how efficient it is. I give up. I've got too much energy in the morning. Yeah, for 5 a.m. <laughs> Michael's uh, like dying inside. Yeah. Well, I haven't even had my coffee yet. It's too hot to drink. So, as soon as. Oh, I can't wait. Flat white from Starbucks. Me and Pagey Pops, I, I like got all the energy. Here we go. We've been called through now. We just waited about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Here we are. I'll be honest with you. When I first heard about the Euro Tunnel and that we were going underwater, not, not this time, I'm on about when I was a kid. I thought we were actually travelling under the sea and it was going to be... I was a bit disappointed the first time I went on it, but it is a really good, really good invention, so I'm not going to moan about it. And I think it takes about 45 minutes to get from Dover to Calais, so really efficient. Here we go, we're loading on now. Trying 
interesting fact, last time we went on the Euro Tunnel, it was coming back from Germany to Dover, and um, I fell asleep on it. And uh, I got woken up by people beeping behind me, and I opened my eyes, and people had already left the train about 15 minutes ago. And the bloke was banging on the window saying, oh, mister, mister. I was like, oh, sorry mate, I fell asleep. We all fell asleep, didn't we? So yeah, that wasn't good. You gave me up at four o'clock in the morning, and then you want me to do stupid rides as well. What we'll a holiday. No, holiday, holiday, holiday. <laughs> by, by the way, you don't know um, Grandad Bailey. Oh. So he is basically Michael, but older. So the oh, jokes just keep Michael. on coming. Poor, poor Michael. Poor me, you mean. Poor me. Poor kids. <laughs> no, we're going to go on Tower of Terror first thing, Dad. That's a really s slow, chilled out one. I just want the egg cups. The egg cups are cool with I me. I'll tell you what you'd love. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we haven't even spoke about this yet. Your love, it's a small world. That's a good one. I do, mate. As, yeah. long, as, as long as Paige can go on it, I'm on it. Yeah. It's a good sing along. <laughs> Paige has done Tower of Terror. Yeah. Wait, what did if we, what Paige we need... has done Tower of Terror. Is Grandad doing it? What we need to do, Paige, is pull you. Grandad... I'm not going on Tower of no, Terror. Listen, tower. what we need to do is Grandad, Grandad get your shoulders. Daddy, get your legs and pull your big so you can go on all the rides. I don't want to go on Horror Tower. Oh, no, do I. <laughs> I don't even like the sound of it. I don't, but I'm doing it. <laughs> the last time we came to uh, Disneyland Paris in 2017, I queued up to go on um, Tower of Terror. And then I was like, I can't do it. I chickened out. So I said, Cam, you go on by yourself. And then I said, I'll wait for you at the exit. Waited at the exit. For some reason, he came out and got lost and went to Lost and Found. And anyway... So this is the only one I haven't done of the three parks we've been to. So I'm going to do this one then when we do end up going to the Asia uh, parks. Uh, we, I'll do all of the Tower of Terrors, that's it. I'm going to get them all ticked off. As long as it doesn't leave the ground, I'm happy. Oh no, Tower Terror doesn't leave the ground. Okay. Yeah. Then We should be goes, arriving shortly. We've just... <laughs> honestly, it's been so efficient. Feels really quick. Yeah, it was very bumpy though, wasn't it? Bumpity bumpity. Yeah. Like the yeah. last time we did it, we were in a Range Smooth. Rover, so I don't no, it's a, it's really a, remember it being that yeah. rickety dickety. I mean, there's two tunnels. Really. But rickety have, dickety bumpity bumpity. Yeah, we have these, I don't know, the gun. Travel now. sickness tablets, we've, I think she's so going to say. You, yeah, so if you get, I don't know where I've put them. Yeah. Anyway, if you get travel sickness, well, I've lost them. But anyway. The whole thing, by the way, has been really efficient. Yeah. Really efficient. Like, really efficient. I can't even. Hey, stop, don't, you don't need to talk about work here. Don't try to sleep that off. What, about work? Yeah, what do you no, mean? we were talking about that. No, no one wants to hear about your work. No. What are you on about? We don't want to hear about What's she on about? Don't Found the tablets. So I'm not sponsored by these or anything, but they work because I was feeling really, really sick and now I don't feel sick. So I I really come highly sick. recommended. Yeah, they were good from Boots, over the counter at the pharmacy. They're really good. Um, okay. Also, I was going to say, Paige before, she's like, don't talk about work. Basically, when I did my civil engineering degree, I had to do a presentation on um, the Euro Tunnel and how it worked with the tunnel boring machines, etc. And I was telling them I on the car. Them. And everyone's bored about it, so I'm going to shut up now. I <laughs> can't <laughs> 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 oh, go. Oh, I've got to drive on the... Is it the right now or the left? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm being serious, answer the question! I'm not, I'm not oh. Here we are. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I'm just thinking which side I drive on. It's the right over it. Ah, here we go. Remember to keep right. <laughs> that signs with people like me. Germany for a few years. Yeah, but I forgot. Yeah. I came back, actually, when I came back from living in Germany, driving in England, I was driving on the wrong side of the road all the time. People like flashing at me. Oh, sorry. I don't like to panic. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, My seat box stuck in the door. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. We'll have to pull over and let you... Well, no, it's right. So that's us now in uh, France. The Euro Tunnel itself took about 35 to 40 minutes. Really efficient, honestly. So efficient um, from getting to the kiosk and recognising the number plate touching the electronic thing to book it early, no charge, getting through, getting Starbucks, getting onto the train itself, the whole thing. It was a bit bumpy, but it is what it is. Really efficient. Would I recommend it? 100%. There's actually that talk flying over um, the ferry. We'll talk about that a bit later on. But um, for us, personally, if some, it all boils down to do you mind driving and where you are located in the country. We prefer driving. I prefer driving. Um, 
the next thing I was gonna say, from getting off to getting to Disney itself, it's taken three hours and two minutes. So yeah, we're on our way now. Um, we should be there. Well, we're gonna stop at the services, put some uh, put some fuel in, grab some uh, food, and then and then go from there. But yeah, it's been good. Everything's smooth so far. So hopefully it's a better day than yesterday. Well, I'm to sleep. Paige is awake. Glenda's pretending to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're driving. Get in the car, Dad. You're driving. They're taking over. away from Disney now yeah 17 minutes away um, what time is it nearly 11 o'clock so we made really good time um, however I thought I messed up a couple of times I haven't so to confirm from Calais to Paris let me turn the music down we don't want to get done for copyright from Calais to Paris or Disneyland oh, Disneyland sign up there we've missed it but there was one and had uh, Mickey <laughs> Saucer and Mickey as well from Fantasmic um, anyway 26 uh, euros it is for tolls in that distance so I came off well I got I come off the wrong junction I had 10 minutes onto our journey uh, and then I had to go on a toll so I thought that was 10 and then we did another one which was 10 then 6 so yeah um, it's been a smooth journey and we're 16 minutes away uh, not far at all so as soon as we get a bit closer to David Crockett's we'll, um, we'll show you we're going to go to David Crockett's first drop off some bags um, pick up the disability pick it, the pass. disability it's priority passes yeah priority pass over in, and then pick up that and then head to the park after that so we'll, we'll show you when we get there here we go there it is oh look. my god Ow. Oh, look at that really oh davy crockett ranch how amazing are we at disneyland paris now well we're in we're like in a hotel outside so we will be in a second oh yes oh, bump, bump, bump. they've got rooms available we haven't booked any yet huh? i'm joking <laughs> just parked up um, really easy to find our way in just showed them um, the magic was it the magic ticket Day, Day, <laughs> you got five days of this honestly um, but yeah it looks amazing so far so we just parked up just at the back there and then we're walking oh there's a trading post um, nice what I will say in fact I'll show you now Davies farm It does, doesn't it? We've been cooped up. Look at Pagey Pops <laughs> with all our um, look at our, um, all our Chippendale merch Ow. on our bag. Sorry. <laughs> Beat me up, bro. There's a pool. There's a pool. We've got to go to the pool. We have to go to the pool. We have to go to the pool. We have to. There's the trading post. Reception's over there, we're going to go to reception now. Check um, in, one person, one person. <gasps> look who it is, Paige. Hey, <gasps> to the dome! Okay, let's go and have a look. 